Hi guys, Michael Jensen here. Today with kind of a fly tying special thing. One of the most underrated fly tying materials um, is, in my opinion, part of this. This is a bucktail. I got bucktails in, I don't know, 30 different colors, dyed colors and, and in the natural form as well. And I tie a lot of bucktail flies, I tie a lot of classic bucktail jigs. So, bucktail is just the most important material for, for me in my fly tying, especially when it comes to streamer flies, hair wing flies, uh, and to hair jigs. But when we look at a bucktail, mostly we look at that side. It's the back side of the, uh, the tail, and the reason why we look there first is because it's usually these uh, white feathers, white, f <laughs> it's usually these white hairs we're interested in. Uh, because when we dye the bucktail, we get all kinds of nuances, wonderful colors, bright and, uh, and glowing colors in, in every imaginable nuance. But what we tend to forget is, on the other side of this, on this side, the top side, is lots of other hair that don't really is part of, of many f uh, original fly patterns. You're not going to find many patterns who dictate you should use the dark hairs on a bucktail, whether it's from the natural, which is a, any uh, nuance, any color from, from tan to a dark brown. Um, or on one of these colored examples, where you got a lot of fabulous dark olive colors in this kind of medium to light olive uh, bug chain. So, what I'm going to do today is show a couple of examples on how you can make some really fabulous flies using one material. Uh, mostly, you're going to use some tying thread, a hook, maybe a bit of flash or something, uh, some eyes. But, but mainly use these uh, middle parts these hair on, on the bug tails. If you want to tie a fly with the dominant color is this uh, wonderful golden amber. You might want a, a darker back on this fly if you make a bait fish fly, for instance. And if you use the hair from, from this same bug tail, you'll get hair with much darker hue, but still with those amber, uh, the, the amber colors shining through these darker hair. So they're gonna match up super nice. We're gonna take a look at that in a moment. Hang on.
Okay, guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.